I'm Pete McCall, the All About Fitness Podcast, here with Mike Fanagrassi with NASM. Mike, what, what do you do with it? What's your role with NASM? So at NASM, Pete, uh, I oversee our content that we create for our courses, whether that be digital content. Uh, also, we have live events that we do, so we manage a team of instructors that go out and teach education for us. And, and I, well, let me take a step back, because for listeners, I'm not doing an introduction for this. We're at the, we're at the World uh, Idea World 2019 trade show. NASM is the National Academy of Sports Medicine. And you also with that, you have another certification does personal training, but then you're also affiliated with another certification group? Well, we, some of our brands is AFA. So okay. we also have AFA, and then in the UK, Premier as well. And so AFA does primarily group fitness, right? That's correct, yes. All right, and then how does somebody, what is the, how does somebody become like a personal trainer or a group fitness instructor to NASM or AFA? Yeah, so it, it's, very typical as to the way most people go through the course. There's online education that you can take. So you would study a course, sometimes via textbook, definitely through some digital assets. And then you would sit for an accredited exam. So you go to a testing center. And then once you complete that, you gain your certification. Uh, a lot of times we also recommend someone go the extra step and take a live practical workshop uh, before entering the field if they don't have experience. And that's and just on that note, I was just about to ask, do people need to have a really heavy exercise science background to get into the fitness industry? No, that's a, that's a job of the providers that uh, teach the certifications, is really to give them all the relevant information they need to hit the ground running. Uh, a lot of it though is once you get out in the field, you have to continue to learn, and that's why conferences are great, um, and continuing education to brush up on those skills. Now, what's the, why should somebody look for an NASM? And, and for listeners, I, I know the answer to this, okay? I've been, I've been NASM certified since 2002, and I do, on the, in the full disclosure, I do a little bit of work with the organization, do a little bit of contracting work, but why should somebody look for an NASM certified personal trainer? What is the benefit of working with an NASM certified trainer? We feel we do a great job of preparing uh, personal trainers to work with clients of all different levels, and that begins with teaching an assessment process, so really doing an overhead squat, seeing how someone moves, and using that information to build programming. And we use a training model called the Optimum Performance Training Model, and that allows you to take someone from a sedentary state all the way back up to you know an elite performance level uh, very safely. And also we give people a framework on how to train so they know where to use the tools in the right places. And see, Mike knows, Mike knows, as he knows I've been using the NASM OPT model for years, and, and it works. I mean, I like that, but I want listeners to understand that it's not, you don't want to just work out with somebody just because they look good. You need, trainers should understand how the body moves. And, and how does NASM, what does NASM do that's unique in the way they teach that? Yeah, so we really function a lot in the functional anatomy, you know, so you can memorize kinesiology, uh, but the way something works open chain is very different than how it works in a closed chain. And so that's something that we try to teach our trainers to really understand, hey, if your foot's turning out, that's one thing, but if it's not turning out because of friction on the ground, then that might cause the knee to cave in. And then we provide strategies to help correct those things uh, if that's happening to their clients. That's awesome. And now, are you guys, what do you have for continuing education? Because the audience for the podcast is both consumers and fitness professionals. So you're coming, do you have new education content out for fitness professionals? Yeah, absolutely. So the thing that we launched this year, which really uh, is appropriate for both consumers all the way through uh, fitness professionals is a certified nutrition coach. That one uh, goes deep into nutritional science, uh, but we break it down a way that's easy to understand. The next section is behavior change strategies, and the final part is nutrition coaching, how to kind of put it all together. Uh, right now, it's our second most popular course that we sell. Uh, we also have an updated indoor cycling course called Gear coming out in August. Oh, cool. Uh, so that will be through the AFA brand. Oh, wow, okay. And then by the end of the year, we're also updating our corrective exercise course as well. So it'll go through, um, content will be updated, and then also we're shooting a lot of video content for it, and it'll be delivered through a new digital textbook that we're already using for the nutrition course and also for that gear course as well. Yeah, that's awesome, we got a lot of stuff coming out. So where can people get more information about NASM? The, the best place is nesm.org. We have a ton of uh, information on there, blog posts, articles. Uh, we also have some stuff on social media you can check out as well. Do you have any videos on YouTube? <laughs> yes, we do, we have a few videos on YouTube.